In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to change the rotation of your wheels. Keep God first. Let's get into this video. Have you ever driven an RC car and you wanted to pull the trigger for the throttle and go forward, but your car decided to go backwards? Well, this video is to help you because I've ran into that problem as well. So sometimes you go into your ESC and you can change the settings and you go, hey, I'm gonna change the direction of my actual motor to counterclockwise there. And then, oh, that should solve my problem. So now I'm gonna go forward and then it'll work, it's fine. But that's not the case. Your motors, actually have a timing advancement that you can add to it via the ESC or on the end bell of the actual motor itself. On the side there, when I zoom in, that there are timing marks right there. All these are timing marks. And then depending on where you put it, it will either give you more RPM or less RPM throughout the increase of voltage that's put into the motor if you change the motor rotation electronically or do that counterclockwise thing i just showed you there's some questionable things that happen and not every esc is capable of doing the change in direction correctly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this rc car on the table and show you all it's spinning forward and i'm pulling the throttle and then i'm going to change directions in the esc and I'm going to spin it forward again and then you'll hear a difference in the max amount of RPMs that the motor can reach because of the explanation I just gave. Now I'm going to change the motor direction in the ESC so now, when I pull this trigger forward, it's going in reverse. But listen to the RPM. What you heard was a difference in RPM because the timing is not being accounted for in the ESC when you change the direction of the motor rotation. So effectively, it's not the safest bet to use that feature in any ESC when you have timing on the motor. So what I'm sharing now is an option that you can use. You can change your direction of the wheels spinning by mechanically changing your differential setup. You can change the direction that your differential is facing or you can change the direction your motor is facing. So instead of your motor facing this way, and the pinion is right here, you can face your motor that way, and the pinion is over here. Let me get down there and show you. Now right here is the diff case, quick change differential case for this RC drift car. This is a GRK4 to be exact. And if you take this diff case off, in there is a bevel gear. Now, that bevel gear actually is facing a certain way. So if I was to put this on that side by taking it out and then turning it over and then putting it back in there, this bevel gear would be on the opposite side. Therefore, if it was going in reverse, now it's going forward. Now, this is the Bingo RC Hachi chassis and the actual motor is up here in the axle here in the axle back there there is a bevel gear inside of this axle housing in order to get to that you have to take the screws out right there all of them you take them all out of course you have to drop the axle and things like that and then there's a bevel gear inside of there just like on the grk and then you just again same thing take it out flip it over put it back in rotation is good now this chassis is running a belt drive transmission 
or gearbox, some people like to call it. Pretty much when you have this spur gear over here and the motor under it and it rotates and it doesn't go the direction you want to, you have to basically take this spur gear out the shaft that it is connected to out and then place everything instead of being on this side you have to now put all of that and the motor mount on this side on this side and then you change the motor from pointing that way and now it's going to point that way this will change the direction that your motor spins and therefore if you were going backwards before now you will go forward now there are some gearboxes that do not allow you to swap the motor over to the other side and those idler gear gearboxes, the stock like Red Cat RDS uh, gearboxes not able to have the spur gear come out and then put it on the other side or the opposite side. There's also the YD2 SX3 gearbox does not allow you to take it out and swap it to the other side but gearboxes are getting better and you can get aftermarket ones that actually allow you to change which side the spur gear is on and then therefore you're able to change the direction without touching your ESC settings and possibly throwing things off so I hope this video helps and I'll also need your help because I need to know whether this is an, you know is a big issue or if it's something that just happens every now and then, you know, let me know in the comments if you've ever ran into this issue before. I just wanted to share what uh, what I've stumbled upon messing with certain cars. And I also do want to point out that there are some ESCs that do not allow you to change the motor direction in the settings. So with that, hey, thank you for watching. In the description, I have my Discord link. Uh, you can join the community there. I am active there. I talk to everyone. The Instagram following is growing as well as the Facebook and YouTube subscribers. I am very grateful for you all. The best way to communicate with me is through that Discord and it's just a great way for all of us to communicate together and see each other's builds. We can share insight. We can share what electronics we're running and things like that. So join the Discord. Let's have a blast. Keep God first. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.